So we're going to start by um, where's he gone? taking the two pieces of wood and deciding which way up I want them to go and um, then drawing the outlines on them and then I'll take them over to the saw and saw them up. So let's go. So we've got the oak on the right here, which um, actually through the camera from this angle has some really nice looking grain on it. So, uh, so much for things looking boring. Um, I've decided to go this way up. I like the idea of the grain being this way up for the circles. The ash, however, um, I think I might do the same. It's the trickiness I've got here is we've got this darker side part here and um, we don't on this one. But the end grain just goes this way. So I think, actually no, I'm going to go this way up and because as it's going to be dyed anyway, this colour difference shouldn't make too much of a difference. So the beauty of having done the prototypes before is that I now have um, the templates available. So um, I don't know if you remember the previous video, if you saw it, we have the the Telecaster one is going to be the oak one, and the ash is going to be the more traditional uh, Stratocaster. I'll put up some pictures now so you can see what it is. So I'm going to, I'm going to take the templates off, find the centre line, put them back on, cut out the shapes, then I'll route out the shapes later. So I'm going to stick the templates on after I've roughed out the shapes because I think they'll get in the way. Um, previously I was using a jigsaw. Uh, I'm now going to try a scroll saw and see how well that works of oak. <laughs> well, I hope. Um, and this one is a bit of a worry actually because it's slightly longer than I expected. So it literally only just fits on. But from here. Next time you see these, would be sawn out. Now there is the discussion of whether you should um, cut the shape out first or route the cavities first. Now I've been doing the shape first and then the cavities. The argument being that um, there's a lot more surface to rest the router on. If you're doing the neck pocket, there's a lot more to be resting on. Um, and I can see the merits in that. Oh, hello. I can see the merits in that. Um, but I'm going to stick with the method I've got, and then maybe next time I do one, I'll, uh, I'll try that way around. So, starting with the ash. Got my breathing stuff ready. I've levelled the saw bench, and uh, we're about to go. Okay, that was really annoying, because the scroll saw get uh, shaking itself apart and um, it's not designed for that sort of work but it was graded for that thickness um, I'll have to look to try and permanently put some of the bits together for that um, and the second <laughs> thing let me just flip to the second annoying thing is that I've realized I've, I've done it upside down I wanted this bit was supposed to be down here but you know that's okay um, because the more interesting flame now is over here where the control panel is going to be here and uh, the neck pocket is going to take most of that discoloration part away <clears throat> so yeah that may have worked out for the good <laughs> So I can't remember how we left it, but the next stage is to um, route out around the template to make the edges smooth. Now there's a few points where they stick out quite a way, which I think I'm probably going to bring down with a file first. Um, so I don't want it to kind of tear out and on this corner. Focus, damn you. I don't want to cause tear out unnecessarily. Um, now, previously I've had accidents using a palm router to do this. Did I say router? A palm router. So I think I'm going to, the next stage is going to involve this and my router. So 
So, on we go with the uh, router table action. So we're done, but they didn't go as well as I'd hoped. I'm not quite sure what happened to this bit here. I think it's where I was following advice on line to, to start at the top and then work down to, to go against the grain. Sorry, against the flow of the thing, but that turned out to be a terrible idea because it was trying to grab it out of my hand the whole time. And then right at the end, on the very last rim round, we lost this bit of wood here, which I'm going to have to repair. And on this guy here, Similar story, I think we did, we survived quite well, apart from some annoying burring around this horn, which I'll have to reshape. Thankfully on the back, um, this bit here, which again I'll glue on and try and repair. I may even pretend there's a massive kind of, I may even pretend there's like a massive rollover or something there. 